Well, welcome back to another Dino Days video. As you can see, a glorious red FN2 Honda Civic Type R now. This one's got some modifications on that we'll go through in a little while, but it's been mapped previously elsewhere. But the mandate today is to go total ASBO and get some proper flames out of her so she lights up the winter nights. So that's what we're going to do. So first up, onto the dyno. Check out the Ecotech license that's already on there and then start tuning. Yes, very nice. What a beautiful red FN2 Honda Civic Type R. Now, Lee's been a, a follower of the YouTube channel for a while, and he's had a few modifications since that. This has been mapped before this car, but it's had a few modifications since that map somewhere else uh, because he's been following the YouTube channel. So he's done away with the Direnza induction kit. He's got himself a Skunk 2 induction kit, and he's fitted an RRC inlet manifold. So they're the differences between... Um, the last time it was mapped and, and today. Yeah, he also has got some other good mods as well. Though he's got... Yeah, yeah, he's got a 4 to 1 uh, Tegua manifold and also the Tegua Miltec 3 inch exhaust system. Yeah, so a really good exhaust system, uh, which always unlocks power on these, as we know. Um, yeah, good manifold. Uh, he's then obviously coupled it. He's then fitted a good inlet manifold. He's fitted a good induction kit and got rid of the dire end. So I think that's probably what's unlocked that little bit of extra power. Sure. Um, we did run the car initially as it was with the old map on it this morning. Yeah, a little bit lean, but that's because of those modifications have been made. Well, of course. Yeah, that's not saying anything against the previous map. No. It's just that obviously modifications have been made. Obviously, the engine's breathing more, therefore you need more fuel. So... Um, but we ran it there. It was safe enough to run. Uh, I think we did two, three, one. I think was what it ran yeah. there, wasn't yeah. it? If you're talking just peak numbers, yeah. um, and then we finished on uh, two, three, three today. The actual correction figures brought that down a little bit. It's yeah. two, three, five without a correction figure, but mm. we're into we're into minus figures today on correction figures. Yeah, yeah. So it's pulled a little bit out of it. So re realistically, two, three, five. Um, the difference is it's it's 
back to the same we always talk about this me and dan as the car obviously as we're doing runs and we're warming up the transmission's warming up so therefore you get less transmission losses but yet your wheel horsepower rises and rises and rises so the wheel horsepower looks relatively dramatic when you look at the wheel horsepower but the actual gains overall when you look at the uh, flywheel power against each other don't look so dramatic well for, for those of you watching in america Yes, we we appreciate that wheel horsepower is what it's all about. Mm. So the figure between the starting wheel horsepower and the end wheel horsepower, yes, we know that's what counts. But for where we are in the UK, it's all brake horsepower yeah, It's all brake figures. horsepower figures, yeah. So it's obviously does it, that's what people want. Uh, yeah, so I think it's done really well. I think we've, we've gained across the whole board. Now, obviously, the modifications have been fitted to a vehicle that's already been mapped. Mm. Um, so... To make any gains, really, is is quite good, yeah, I think. Yeah. And it's just all now dialed in. The fuel is correct. And obviously, adjusted cam timing uh, to suit the inlet manifold. Because obviously, they generally want a little bit of different cam timing than they do with the standard inlet manifold. So again, just realistically, just tweaking from where it was. Um, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I think we've got some really good results. We certainly have. It's a beautiful car. Had I some hope. pops and bangs customer wanted, didn't they? He, he, yes, he was adamant this morning that he needed some flames. Mm. And flames is what he got. So uh, hopefully he's going to drive that and enjoy that and, and really light up the winter roads with some flamage. Yeah. Shall we look at this graph? Let's look at the graph. Well, there we go. Red line is as she came in. Blue line is as she leaves. Wheel horsepower made pretty much right away across the rev range. Uh, we finish on 233 brake horsepower, 201 at the wheels. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we'll see you on the next one. Wait, it was pretty fast.